Hey guys, so today I filmed a tutorial on this look. This is my go-to holiday look. I actually fell in love with this makeup in December 2014 and I wanted to wear it again this holiday season and create a tutorial for you guys. So this is the makeup that I wore on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and this is very holiday makeup but it doesn't scream Christmas. Like you can totally wear this look other times of the year, other days of the year. I just really gravitate towards this look during the holiday season. So this look is comprised of a gold eye, a berry cheek, and a deep wine lip. I really love the way that all of these colors work together. And if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. So first you're going to apply an eye primer from Lash Line to Brow Bone. Next I'm going in with my transition color, which is the Milani Bella Eyes and Bella Cappuccino. And I'm going to apply it with my Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush. And I am just going to run this back and forth windshield wiper motions in my crease and a little above my crease to create a nice base for my shadows to blend over top of. Next I'm going to apply a glitter primer on my lid. This is the e.l.f. glitter primer and I'm just going to take a small amount of this and pat it right on the lid. Then I'm going to take the ColourPop eyeshadow in this gold shade, Get Lucky, and I'm going to pack it on my lid with a sponge tip applicator. I just buy mine from Ulta. So I am going to press this on the lid, making sure to apply it only on the lid up to the crease, but not into the crease. And just making sure that my lid is completely covered, just setting a base with this shadow. And then I'm going to take some more product on my finger and pack it on the lid just making sure that I am getting major intensity. So next for my crease color I'm going to be taking Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in the shade Bengal. This is sold individually but mine is in the Tamana palette and I'm going to be applying it with my Sigma E25 blending brush. So I am just going to be applying this into the crease and to the outer corner. This is a really amazing warm shade that I love for the crease. I think it looks amazing with this gold shadow. Then I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and blend out that crease color. This is the Beauty Junkies Tapered Blending Brush. Then I'm going to highlight my brow bone with Wet n Wild Single and Brulee and my Sigma E45 Small Tapered Blending Brush. So then I'm just going to apply this right under my brow bone. So that is all for the shadow. I'm going to apply my eyeliner and mascara and be back to show you what's going on my face. So for eyeliner and mascara, I used the Essence Waterproof Eyeliner Pen and I used the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. So now moving on to the face, I'm going to contour with my NYX Blush and Taupe and my Sigma F05 Small Contour Brush. And I'm just going to apply this in the hollows of my cheek. This is a color that is really gray tone. I would not recommend using this to contour other areas of the face because it's going to stand out as gray. So I just like to use this in the hollows of my cheeks. For blush, I'm going to use Elf's Berry Mary, which is a drugstore alternative to NARS Sin. And I'm going to apply it with my Sigma F15 Duo Fiber Blush Brush. And I'm just going to apply this on the backs of my cheeks and work towards my apples. And same on the other side. And for my highlight, I'm going to be using the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade Superb. And I'm going to be applying it with my Real Technique Setting Brush. And I am just going to sweep this on the top of my cheekbones. You can take this down the center of your face if you'd like, but because I'm oily, I really only like to apply shimmery highlight to my cheekbones. Lastly, for lips, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipstick in the shade Divine Wine. this is the finished look. I really hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.